this time. Problem is, right? <laughs> yeah. You come to these things and you see all these real high level people. Anything you see after that is like a bad imitation. <laughs> so, <laughs> you understand? So I'm trying to practice how to break somebody's balance. Right? Otherwise, they don't fall down. <laughs> but you understand? So, for me, I'm not very bright. So, you touch and you touch and then try to create some way to break the person. Simple one is this one, actually. Not simple, but. That one works. And then from there, but instead, don't hit them or shape them. And then if you want, you can shape them all the way into the ground. See the idea? Okay, try that. Whichever one works. Just an idea. Right. That was calm, but then fist is the same. It depends how you want to train your foot. Right. You know where it's coming from. <laughs> and then also your legs. So then you can start. One more time. Soon as I'm sorry. One more time. You can also you can leg, knee. Does it? Any part of my body that he touches should be able to affect his balance. In theory, right? He touches me, he goes down. I touch him, he goes down. Or I control him. Then later I want to control him with the ability to injure him at any time. Without scaring him. Does that make sense? If I scare him, he's going to fight. I'm trying to learn how to take prisoners. Right? You threaten them too much, they fight. You scare them too much, they might kill themselves. Right? You don't threaten them enough, they fight. So how do you, right? You have to give them a sense that they're threatened but not scared. How do you get them to surrender? <laughs> that's, the, that's the dream for next year. Get people to surrender. Lots of ways, it doesn't matter. So you can try from very close. It really doesn't matter. You can start here. Here? Start here. I'm sorry. Right. You can start here and move him. As long as you move him, it doesn't matter. So you try different locations, right? So any position, this one makes a little bit Any position you take. Or you can try from short distance. You know, like, um, sorry. This kind of distance, he moves. You can try from long distance. That way you can practice. This way is interesting, right? I stole this from the Ecoding guy. And you may lose your balance. In which case, you still have to win. Right? So you can practice on the ground. And then he can punch if he wants to add stress. See, it's too tight. See that? Look for the mistakes. You see a lot more mistakes than you're going to see good points. So as he comes in, my attitude will change. Oh, striking. Maybe. Or he doesn't strike. I don't know. Whatever. I'm practicing mugging. So this, this is just to develop function in the body. So we can, otherwise, 
taken over by the tip. <laughs> Can't breathe or anything. I right? so need to be able to. <laughs> <laughs> And then sometimes you use your leg. So train, train the knees. Train the feet. Right. Sitting down, standing up, doesn't matter. So it eliminates the arms, right? Same feeling though. When you grab the wrist, grab with the same feeling of direction. So I think I've noticed in myself that I grab the person's hand in order to prevent them from doing whatever it is they want to do. So now I'm trying to grab them in order to control them. Not prevent them from doing things. I just want to take control of them. He grabs me, he tries to shape my position, I touch him with some part of my body. And no matter which way he moves me, he tries a variety of ways to get pulling, pushing, up, down, left, right, whatever you can think of. Not the wrist, right. Then you move from that to a position where you can touch him. You don't have to do anything to him, just touch him. And then later that touch should take him. Castles in the air is what I call it. It's easy. <laughs> right, but that's okay. I've got time and my foundation is weak. Good. Okay. All right, so try that. Thank you. This kind of stuff happens as soon as I go. Standing, sitting, doesn't matter. The gra person grabs you and they raise their hand like this. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do about that. All right, so he grabs me and he threatens me, but he's not going to do anything. It's better if he hits me. All right, because otherwise, right, the punch is never going to come. All right, have you ever, right, we do this all the time. Maybe you don't, but you grab it. You're running around, you get your little fist all tight. And then you get in front of him, you go, <laughs> <laughs> And what happens is he, he learns to ignore the fist, right? He either becomes paranoid or overconfident, right? If you intimidate the person, they become really afraid of this thing that isn't moving, right? So they start to react to something that may not happen, or they think it's never going to happen, which is even <laughs> maybe worse, right? So this time, if you're going to raise your hand to hit someone, you should do it. Don't hit them too hard, but it's, it's not bad if you grab them to hit. And then you'll find out a lot of times that you can't. You just think you can hit them. Right? You'll be three feet away, and you throw in these punches that never land. That's just a, something to think about sometimes. OK, so last thing, or no, eh, yeah, so back to just dropping. I'm oh, sorry, my fault. Move too soon. Yeah. Down. And just very relaxed, especially the shoulders and the breathing. And as he comes in, inhale a little bit. So you don't start. kind of grab is fine. Shoulder, hand, strikes are fine. Whatever you want to do. But don't tell the person first. Just whatever comes in, comes in.